Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today is my day two in Delhi, New Delhi, India and I'm visiting Humayun's tomb. And I'll be giving uh, you some history background and I'll show you some uh, places or explain, try to explain you some of the places I'll be visiting in, within the complex. So the tomb of the Mughal Emperor Humayun in New Delhi and this is an awesome display of architectural splendor. It was commissioned by uh, Empress Bega Begum, his first wife and chief consort in uh, 1569 to 70 and uh, this has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 19. 93. The complex you're looking at right now is the complex where the temporary workers used to stay because uh, lots of workers actually were foreign workers at that time and most of them came from uh, the uh, Arabs or they were Arabs. So these places were uh, housing them temporarily uh, while they were working uh, to make the tomb. And right now this uh, whole complex is going through a massive uh, renovation and restructuring uh, to you know, bring in more tourists and money. So definitely it's going to look much better once the whole renovation is done. After the Empire, uh, Empire Humayun's death in 1556, his wife Bega Begum was so grieved that she dedicated her life to build the most magnificent mausoleum in the empire and Humayun's son, uh, Mughal uh, Emperor Akbar, uh, regularly visited the tomb during its construction and Akbar's grandson who is Shah Jahan and this is the guy or this is the empire who made the Taj Mahal was so mesmer uh, mesmerized by the architecture of this tomb which is his uh, grandfather's tomb and he used many aspects of its design including the double dome of uh, the designing uh, and it's all reflected uh, in the Taj Mahal. On the minarets tip or on top of the minarets uh, there were golds and uh, during the British rule they actually removed the gold so now these are gold plated and uh, there's the big dome in the middle although it looks a single dome architecture but it actually it is a double dome architecture uh, it's not single dome and uh, if, if you can see those windows arched shaped windows there are 56 of them and uh, due to uh, the weather uh, those arched uh, shaped windows they actually do air circulation throughout the dome and that makes the dome very comfortable and cool cooler than outside because uh, in uh, New Delhi or India the temperature get, can go high like 40, 50, 60 degrees and that time when this was built there was no electricity so they had to keep things cool and that's how they used use the uh, arch shaped uh, windows to do the air circulation and air ventilation throughout the dome to uh, keep it cooler. The tomb is surrounded by a huge garden. Uh, this type of traditional garden was popular in the Mughal dynasty and known as Shar Ba. The rectangular garden was divided into four squares by center of fountain. And the water was actually going from one part or one side of the garden to the other side of the garden, which is far away uh, through these uh, water channels. Uh, because that day there was no way to pump uh, you know, water because there's no electricity. So they had to come up with this unique uh, idea to uh, move water or flow water uh, throughout the garden uh, to keep everything green and so basically from the central middle place water is coming and then going to the other side and uh, depending on like you know how the water flow I, I guess so it's it just made the whole place uh, uh, watered uh, and kept the water flowing. This is the first structure uh, to use red sandstone with a white marble border linings at such a grand scale. It is a rectangular mausoleum uh, crowned by an onion shaped dome which I mentioned before and uh, it looks like very similar to the Taj Mahal but uh, instead it's, uh, instead of white marble the red sandstone, uh, sandstone was used. And again uh, this is the tomb of the Mughal Empire uh, Humayun who is actually the grandfather of the 
empire who built the Taj Mahal, uh, and uh, his name is uh, Shah Jahan. So, uh, this is my first uh, sightseeing in New Delhi, India. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe now because there will be more videos coming up, and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.